Hi, welcome back to Battle Kai. This is Eugene, and I'm gonna review and analyze Digimon Ghost Game Episode 2. Sorry for the late upload, as I'm trying my best to redesign and re edit to avoid copyright claims. Please note that this video contains spoiler, and it is advised to watch the episode first before watching this review. And this review also contains fan theories. So please take a grain of salt. Alright, let's start. In the beginning, Mummy Mon appeared out of nowhere to rap and kidnap someone who has negative thoughts. However, a non targeted victim, such as the passerby person here, can see Mummy Mon too, which I believe all hologram ghost Digimon can make themselves visible for a limited periods of time or certain periods of time in the human world to do their work. While doing so, everyone nearby the victim can see them too. I talk a little bit about the theory of how hologram ghost Digimon's visibility on my last video which you can check out in the link in the description below. When Hiro asks where is this digital world that his dad Hokuto is in, Gamamon pointed towards the direction of the broken window. This might sound like a ridge, but I personally think uh, that Gamamon is not lying. Maybe the nearest digital world portal or digital gate is just over there, but only the hologram goes and Gamamon can see it. Maybe in future episodes, Hokuto may know a way to use the Digivice V to make the digital gate visible. Gaumon is then shown to have the ability to grow wings. This wasn't shown in the first episode while fighting with Clockmon, suggesting that Gamamon might have gained enough experience to unlock certain abilities after the fight. Later, Gaumon also seems to know how to open an electronic locked door, but I personally think that all Digimon in the real world can somewhat hack into a building with their supernatural abilities like going through walls or just somewhat communicate with the electronic device in the human world. At one point, Ruli mentioned that one of her followers told her a mummy appeared around the Ueno area. And at the end of the episode, we know that there is a follower following Ruli, which is her partner Digimon or partner to be, Angoramon. Angoramon is in what I called invisible mode because if Angoramon is in his visible mode, everyone in the scene should be able to see Angoramon just like when Mamimon is kidnapping people. Kiyoshiro's appearance is just a few minutes to talk to Hiro, but his caring behavior shows that he not only cares for his fellow dorm mates, he also knows something about Digimon or hologram ghosts by mentioning there are many dangerous things around. When questioned if he saw something, much like his reaction in the first episode, he denied it quickly and nervously as if he had some kind of encounter before. I predict that it is most likely Jellymon has been messing with him off screen, but again, I could be wrong. The interaction of Hiro and Gamamon is very well written in my opinion. Gamamon, in many situations, speaks like a baby and Hiro using his smartness to decipher Gamamon's speaking patterns shows that Hiro is a very mature and dependable person and smart and while during the battle with Gamamon, he is able to analyze and talk it out with Gamamon. While Gamamon is cute and immature under Hiro's influences and positive will, he managed to evolve into Battle Gamamon. Mamimon's intention is revealed to be quite pure, all thanks to Hiro's wits to find it out. Mamimon just wants to heal people from their negativity by making them dead and resurrecting them, which is a little bit dark. It's a little bit outdated, so uh, Hiro just teach him the correct way, the modern way of healing. I personally think that they are lucky enough to met a level 5 Digimon who doesn't have ill intention because it will be a hard time for a level 4 Digimon such as Battle Gamamon to fight a level 5 Digimon like Mamimon without some kind of attack boosters. This episode 
also slightly paying tribute to existing Digimon, specifically Agumon as a statue and the mention of Dinosaur Digimon by Gamamon while referring to the hologram of a Tyrannosaurus Rex hologram. In my opinion, another fun fact would be after the battle, Mummymon wants to start over and learn to be a real doctor. This can be tributing to Kentaru Mon from Digimon World, who opens a Kentaru cl clinic in the village of beginnings after causing trouble to the player in Amida Forest. Overall, I think that it's a great episode that further explores Hiro and Gamamon's relationship and shows that what Hiro can and will do in order to understand this supernatural phenomenon better while also telling us not all Digimon or, or hologram ghosts has bad intentions while giving us little hints towards important characters to help shape the story in future episodes. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe or let me know in the comments on what you thought about this series or episode. I'm Eugene and I will see you next time.